In the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre on the evening of Good Friday, the local faithful and pilgrims participate together with the Franciscans in a funeral procession of Jesus. A moving celebration that recalls the deposition from the cross on Calvary and the burial in the Holy Sepulchre. When the evening came, a rich man from Arimathea arrived named Joseph, who had also become a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked him for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. Nicodemus, the one who had previously gone to him at night, also went there and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloe of about a hundred pounds. They then took the body of Jesus and wrapped it in bandages together with the aromatic oils, as is customary for Jews to bury. Joseph took the body of Jesus and laid it in his new tomb, which he had carved into the rock. Then he rolled a large stone on the door of the tomb and he left. There in front of the tomb were Mary of Magdalene and the other Mary. The new image of Jesus which was seen during the funeral procession, the anointing and the deposition in the Holy Sepulchre, is the work of a Colombian artist, Santiago Ocampo Iguita, who took part in the Good Friday Liturgy in Jerusalem and spoke to us about his experience in performing this work. Well, we built the Christ in two months with the work of a great team of friends. The Christ in Colombia is called the Christ of Silence, in memory of all the victims of violence. As you know, Colombia is a very violent country. We faced a great war, and we built this Christ in memory of all those who suffer in the Colombian conflict. Santiago also told us about his experience during the funeral procession. It is a great pride. It is a pride for all of us Catholics in my country, Colombia, to be represented in this image of Christ. It is the first time that this land receives this kind of Colombian art. Therefore, it is very significant for us, for me and for my crew. 